This video is a quick <laughs> start again. <laughs> In three, two, one. Moving up to the next tier of Blood Altar does present a small challenge. Now, aside from the size of it, which as you can see right here, it's actually 13 by 13, making it, or sorry, 23 by 23, sorry, making it quite huge. Not only that, you need to top the entire thing off with these crystal clusters. In order to create a crystal cluster, you're going to need both blood and soul shards. Blood and soul shards are dropped by demons, which can only be created if you do the demon event, which is an end of game style event that we're not ready to start on our server. So we will show you how to create that event at a later time. But for now, here are the stats you're looking at. Again, the runes are down, down another level by comparison. And these crystal clusters, in case you do decide to bring them in, are actually one layer above the large bloodstone bricks, bringing the entire setup to a 9 tall and 23 by 23. So if you're looking to do a blood altar this large, you're going to want to set aside at least 23 by 23 area squared. And as you can see, because I put no augmented capacity runes, this still is at 10,000 life points capacity despite being a tier 6.